Hello, friends. I just wanted you to uh, meet my good friend, new friend, Matthew Scow. And uh, I just want him to share a bit about the project we've been working on here today in Ireland, just outside Limerick City. I want you to be in prayer for this, and I want you to be prepared uh, for it. You know that just uh, uh, less than two years ago, we began to cry aloud and warn about the Great Reset, Klaus Schwab, and the whole agenda of what's been going on with COVID-19. And this video that my brother has put together and Nick, who's on the camera here, they've done a remarkable job. This is going to get translated uh, into other languages and go worldwide. And I'd like him to share a bit. I'd like you to be praying for them, especially over the next days, over the next weeks, until this comes out, and pray for the conversion of souls and that many in the church will be stirred and many in the world will be saved. So, brother Matt, I'm going to ask you to... Uh, just share uh, your heart with our friends in many different countries mm. who are very burdened in this hour. Many of them are suffering. They've lost yeah. jobs, all the rest, yeah. and they've been encouraged by the Word of God. They're dear to us. Our church is bigger than the local one here. We've got friends all over the world, and I'd love them to hear about this and be supportive of yeah. you in this. Well, thanks, Keith. Um, yeah, how we met, we met... I, I imagine how a lot of people online right now met you and heard you, heard of you is because of the videos you were putting out and very few people were talking about what the Great Reset was at that time in 2020. And um, so as a Christian filmmaker, we decided, um, I had the honor to, to be at Davos, Switzerland twice with President Trump. So I had a, a unique perspective to see what was going on behind the doors at WEF. And in 2018, there wasn't any of this great reset, this kind of, we knew they're globalists, of course, but we've had globalism for, for since the UN or before. So it, it, was, it wasn't on our thoughts of global takeover. 2020, COVID hits, and Klaus Schwab writes a book called COVID-19, The Great Reset. That, that right there was an indicator. Well, it takes many months to just publish a book nevertheless this write a book so he had the book ready written published and ready to go six months into the greatest pandemic we've seen okay so go and look what he's proposing inside of it well it's the thing that they've been proposing for many years in the un back to the 1992 in rio where they started with agenda 21 and, and these sustainable goals that you always see these 17 sustainable goals which are like their new 10 commandments mm -hmm. that's that's what they are they're reordering the civilization, the world we live in, by their standards, outside of God. Well, as we've seen the progression of COVID and what they've implemented and the rhetoric they use and the, the, the words they use as this is a great opportunity. I don't look at pandemics as great. Yeah. I look at them as suffering and horrible. Mm -hmm. They look at it as an opportunity to implement what they've cooked up. Yeah. So, Early in 2020, I mean, excuse me, 21, I, um, January, I thought, well, I need to, I need, to, as God put upon me as a filmmaker, these gifts, I need to use this to warn people about what's the truth because never in our life have we seen propaganda at this level, yeah. orchestrated proper le propaganda that is being governed by these people who are implementing this pandemic. Event 201 was the biggest thing for me, and a lot of people don't know what that is, and they'll see it in the film. Uh, it was a simulation war game of a coronavirus. In October of 2019, they did this, with, funded by Bill and Melinda Gates, WHO, WEF, NBC, uh, CDC, uh, all the players from China, Johnson & Johnson, they all were there in a circular round table, table war gaming what would happen if a coronavirus would hit the world. Well, fast forward two, 58 days later, boom. We're living in the simulation. Yeah. Okay, it takes so much coordination to do this. And then what did they implement? Well, a vaccine that they've been trying to administer for a long time. Uh, they just now, they had the opportunity to do it. Yeah. And they had everybody buying into it because of fear, because they peddled fear like we've never seen propaganda through the media. And they decided to do something that I've never seen, a global mass vaccination program. 
which is that's not even how you deal with a virus. Yeah. That's you don't do that. So what uh, me and Nick, uh, a very talented young filmmaker, we decided to go hit the road and go and interview as many people in the top of their field. So we interviewed Robert Malone, the inventor of the mRNA technology. Uh, we interviewed uh, Dr. Zelenko, who treated, we were the first one to treat the patients with COVID successfully. Uh, uh, Peter McCullough. Before these be guys became household names, we were, God just blessed us with that providence to meet these men. We cold called them out of nowhere and they sat down with us and spoke with us. And they systematically all got deplatformed. It's funny to see how, yeah. how like, quick their message who they should be listened to mm -hmm. were automatically taken off youtube twitter mm -hmm. facebook well that just knows you're over the target mm -hmm. that's what it is that and it's confirmation that you're telling the truth mm -hmm. uh i still don't know how you're on youtube yet but god that's <laughs> a lot of prayer prayers out there prayer warriors keep that up but even even like our trailers are still on YouTube. Yeah. Some get kicked off like like that. Now they're going. I don't know if they know about it too much, mm -hmm. but as this gets bigger and bigger, I, that will be taken off. Yeah. Um, but basically, what we wanted to do was counter the Great Reset with the Greatest Reset. Yeah, and that's the when Christ comes and regains the world and makes it right again and yeah. and establishes His kingdom. And uh, I wanted to warn people that this is going to get worse. Yeah. It's not going to get better. Mm -hmm. We're not going to pray our way out of this because mm -hmm. the reason why God prophesied this to happen. So you're praying against God's prophecies, yeah. basically, if you mm -hmm. want this to end. We don't want suffering. Mm -hmm. We don't want to go through it. But to, to think that we're more special than the saints that were martyred before us, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's ignorant and it's, it's offensive because what makes us more special? What makes us special is that we're living through this and we get a, t a chance to preach the word in, in, in times like this. Yeah. And when we started seeing a lot of, and I didn't want to be like every century, people think they live in the end times. Yeah. We've seen that. Mm -hmm. But never have we seen something implemented as what John wrote in, on that island so many years ago. How could that, I always wonder how could, what would it look like? How could what he say come to fruition and be true? And what would it look like? We're living in it. Yeah. We're, it's like, I can see how a mark of the beast will be implemented. Mm -hmm. I can see how buying or selling will be implemented. Yeah. I can see the unification of the word, world, how that will be like started here in, in with these men, mm -hmm. the, the, these 10 kings, could they be kings of tech companies mm -hmm. maybe? You know, mm -hmm. we're seeing a rebranding of what is sovereign. Well, it's not our country, you know? What is sovereign? Uh, it's not even gonna be you. They don't want you to be a sovereign person. If you're not in their their 17 sustainable goal environment, then you're gonna be out of it. Yeah. We have something in the film, what we do, we, we go through the media, where the media, how it was corrupted, the churches, the Catholic church, the takeover of the Catholic church uh, started in, the 1700s, around where Freemasonry started coming out. Um, this film goes through it all. Yeah. It's not just, it's so so many uh, layers to this mm -hmm. that we wanted to give an overview perspective of how we got here, who's involved, what's their mindset. And basically I came to this. As we are being governed by the Holy Spirit and he guides us and he led us to each other, mm -hmm. The demons and those evil principalities govern in the same way. Mm -hmm. They, Bill Gates might not be working with Xi Jinping hand mm -hmm. in hand, but that that spirit is definitely, yeah. if, like Paul said, if you're not with Christ, you're Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Well, Antichrist is going to build Antichrist kingdoms, mm -hmm. and that's where we're at. Right, that's that's the day and age we're at right now. In the days of Noah, mm -hmm. wow, what did that mean? Gene manipulation, like they said, Nimrod became. A great, what does that mean when you look into those um, those words of what does that actually mean? What was going on back then? Uh, the sons of God, you know, like these these things had they wanted to kind of play it down mm -hmm. to the gravity of what it was. Nephilim, like yeah. what does that mean? Changing who we are as a human being. God's 
God made us, they believe they can make us better. Mm -hmm. That's scary. Yeah. And so that's where we are. Uh, we just finished, and it's like God's timing so amazing. And uh, we we first talked in May, I think, or April. And for what a, you know, COVID lockdown happened. We couldn't meet each other. Mm -hmm. uh, even a month ago, yeah. another roadblock. And you were said in God's time. And as soon as they lifted restriction on Ireland, boom, I flew over here. And uh, we just finished the last scene of the movie. Uh, you had a chance to preview it. And uh, I just want it to be a living testimony of people who lived through this time. And yeah. in 20, 30, 50 years, if their plans do succeed, they know that we stood strong at this time mm -hmm. and we preached the word and we gave a solution yeah. to this. Yeah. Amen. So friends, that just gives you a little bit of an idea. Um, last night, uh, as Matt says, I, I watched the preview. I could have wept two and a half hours, just wept at the end, broken over souls, over our nations. What has happened in this two years? And I think it's gonna be very, very important. You've got to pray for this man, pray for this project as this video goes out and pray it gets into the right hands. Uh, as our brother said here, I don't know why, uh, how we're still on YouTube, but we'll stay there until they throw us off. I think he's gonna get in a bit more trouble uh, once this uh, video goes out. So he's gonna need more prayer after all of this, but it's a unique video. Uh, all, all the faces, us that have been tuned into what's going on, you'll recognize a lot of these people, but probably on no other uh, medium has it all been put together like this. And although a lot of the stuff I know, I sat there awestruck. These guys have done a tremendous job. It's timely and it must go out. It's going out soon. And I'm really asking that you get behind this, pray that it, that it goes smoothly and that the devil doesn't hinder or obstruct, but that they'll really reach souls. More than anything else, that souls are gonna get saved and come in and we as a church would prayed for two years ago our church can say we we prayed i said to this church pray specifically for new friends and our church is a witness literally from one week after it, it exploded extraordinary and this is one of my new friends and i'm so glad that the body of christ worldwide there's a unique work not not in, uh, interconnected by man but the spirit of god is putting people together who are going to stand through one of the hardest hours in history so god bless you we'll see you again through the preaching of the word unless this man gets me thrown off youtube uh, before then but god bless you thank you for standing with us and praying and encouraging us as we go forward amen